With QLogic 3, we've really focused on making the screens user-friendly. So if we look at this screen here, it very much mimics like the screen on a cell phone. Our eyes using cell phones are trained to go to the top of a cell phone to look at battery for the time and the status of our signal. Or in this case, it would be the status of the power chair. So green being that it can drive full speed. If it was yellow, it would be in a speed reduction mode. And if it was red, it would be in a drive lockout. So we've designed the screen to make it easier for people to transition from their cell phone to being able to see the screen on the QLogic 3 enhanced display or the hand control. An additional change that we have on the main screen is also your speed pot. It is now on the left and as you turn it down, it is going to change and as you turn it up, it's going to change in the opposite. Um, it's just more out of the way and it's still easy to see and understand the function of it. So on the QLogic 3 hand control, there are some new features available. There's the home button, which will always take you to a home screen, which will provide a shortcut to your drive profiles, your seat profile, your auxiliary profile, or your settings that you have access to as the user of the wheelchair. In addition to the new feature of a home button, we also have the ability to program the one and two button for power seat functions, light functions when a light package is available on the chair, mode functions, a home function, and mouse clicks in addition. Again, QLogic 3 is providing us with the ability to truly customize the chair to the individual. If an individual cannot give a mode command, we could program the one or two button as their mode button. If the individual does not like going to their seat profile, we could program the one button to control tilt instead. Another custom function that can be programmed is mode previous, so I go to the following mode with a forward command on the on-off toggle. I can go to the previous mode with the two button because I have it set as previous mode in the custom programming for that button.